So you got to check out this article here from Toronto Stories about Amazon HQ2. Of course, uh, Amazon is looking for a second headquarters in North America, and they just released a short list. They've whittled it down from 238 potential cities down to just 20. And Toronto has made the cut. Of course, the only Canadian city. Everything else is in the U.S. uh, and nothing in Mexico either. So... Um, very exciting news and good to see. Obviously, as real estate investors, we would be absolutely thrilled if a company like Amazon set up shop in our city. Um, it would certainly be good for real estate values. Some of the other interesting things from this article here you'll want to make note of, um, which are some good points. That is, Amazon would save $600 million a year, it says, just in health care costs alone because uh, of course, of our universal health care here in Canada versus the U.S., you got to have your own private. Um, the currency exchange, obviously, I think is a is a major plus for Toronto. The Canadian dollar being, you know, 25, 30 uh, percent cheaper than the U.S. dollar. Um, and interesting that we added uh, the city of Toronto added 23,000 tech jobs, it says, last in the past year, which is more than San Francisco and New York combined. So. Some very interesting things and food for thought to think about. I think we all have to take our collective to take a collective breath and sort of uh, acknowledge the fact that chances are still very slim that Toronto will actually win this bid and get the Amazon to headquarters. But I think, as the article points out, the first line says, "Even if Toronto loses, it wins," uh, just by making the cut and making international headlines. And I think that's very true. The reason I think that's true is because, think about it, there are probably thousands of uh, major corporations around the world who are looking, not just Amazon, but thousands of other smaller companies that are looking to set up shop um, somewhere in North America and looking to set up new headquarters. And now Amazon has done the homework for them. They are basically said, here are the top 20 cities where if you are a company that aspires to be like Amazon, that you have similar values and in, in, um, tech and goals as Amazon, then here are the top 20 cities where you want to set up in. So they've already done the homework for all the companies around the world who are looking to set up shop um, in this part of the world, and Toronto is now on that list. Uh, so a city where maybe the companies are only considering places in the U.S., now they're going to add Toronto to that list, and they're going to automatically consider us it's just a very good thing for the city of Toronto and, again, continue the, uh, the amazing growth that we've seen both in population but also in jobs in our city. So very exciting times here for Toronto. I hope you enjoyed that article.